right guys look what we have we have the first female american toad that we found of the season and there are many ways you can tell that this is a female toad um one of the ways is the size but that's not necessarily always a giveaway from the size um they do tend to be a little bit more reddish in coloration this one though a little oddly seems to have some yellow like a little a little bit more yellowish pigment so I'm really surprised to see that um, I'm gonna have Maria hold the phone here and we're gonna try that test again while it's not a guarantee um, the elbows on females you can see the arms look just a little bit smaller they look skinny on male toads this is you know they're probably the max size would be this but their arms are significantly larger for their body because they have to grab a hold of these females. These females are probably a size and a half larger than the average male toad. So they have to have larger elbows and larger wrists to be able to hold on to these females because they're kicking off other males, but they're also holding on for the wildest ride of their lives. So we're gonna gently, because female toads are jumpy, so she might not like this. But you can see nothing now the other male didn't call either on camera but whenever he jumped around we heard him complaining um, female toads also tend to have more warts from what I can see uh, I think that's just a bigger body size though a lot of people say they're not sexually uh, what is it dimorphic or something like that and that means that you can't tell the difference just by looking at males and females um, I actually believe you can. Now, how do I know this is an American toad and not a Fowler's toad? Well, one way that I know that this is an American toad and not a Fowler's toad, let's see. Okay, so there's a couple of ways. The first way I'm going to show you, you see this part right here. Okay, this right here, it touches the largest wart. Now, what that means is, only American toads have that extension. Fowler's toads, this large wart, is pushed more towards the first red dot, that red wart right there. That's where, usually for Fowler's toads, they're more pushed up and you don't have this very broad, very um, visible line that distinguishes them. Um, so that's the first way, is, is by noticing that. Now if you look at the, at the spots, see how this toad only has one or two colored in spots like red? So when you see a Fowler's toad, the general idea is that they have three or more in pretty much all of their colored in spots, which means like the black, because if you look at the back of a toad, you can see not all of these spots are colored in, but like up here, that's good. You can see that it's colored in. So Fowler's toads have a more colorful representation. They have much more spots. Just generally, that's just how things go. Um, another way is, let's see. Well, the coloration is another way. Um, I think that's good though. I think that from the different things I presented, you'd probably be able to notice from looking at the back of the animal, looking at the head of the animal, look at this part back here. I think this is the parotid gland right here. Uh, this is where the, the, the bufotoxin comes from. This is like a, a pimple, like, uh, what's it called? You know, that, uh, the pus that comes out of a pimple. That's what it looks like if you, if you actually see a toad release its toxin. This is, uh, where the toxins get released that actually harm dogs and other animals that pick them up. So they're really not, uh, nervous whenever you're around their head because this is where they're like, I'm going to get you is the right here these parotid glands so I'm gonna let her out into the woods we picked her up off of the street it was a really good find but this is the first female American toad of the season for frog week it means that they're out probably out earlier than what they were last year from what I can tell um, and this female is just being so good she's just well behaved even if she jumps once look at what all we were able to accomplish with her I really, really, really love female American toads. They just have such a cool personality, guys. Whether you're a researcher and you're at the highest level, or you know, you're know you some simple guy who just likes to go out and look for creatures, 
definitely pay attention to female American toads because they just seem to have some type of a different personality than the males. And I'm not saying I don't like males, I love males, but they just don't seem to have the same kind of personality. And I love it. Females are bigger, maybe it's because they're more bold, but I love females. And we're gonna go let her go. But I just wanted to, to share that point with you guys. Hello there. What are you doing, huh? This is a toad that we found right at my house. Literally, look, there's our dog. Look at that. I know, isn't she a, isn't she beautiful, huh? Yeah, isn't uh, you're beautiful. Now this toad's beautiful too. Now I'm showing my dog toads. Isn't it beautiful, Zendaya? Look at that. Perfect timing to catch a toad on the sidewalk here. I'm I'm very thankful that you're here. I hope you enjoy yourself, buddy. I'm gonna look around now in the yard because there could be more of you guys. Thank you.